uh and i was like all right and then you're like all right let's talk about go so i didn't know if like <laughs> No. Uh, whatever fuck it yeah Go fuck it <laughs> fuck it welcome back diaper babies welcome, welcome back diaper babies and welcome back di- yeah that's fucking her um uh, yeah uh let's talk about ghostbusters Yeah, dude, we watched Ghostbusters, um, and we're here to talk about it. Yeah. Kind of an impromptu movie night. We were going to do uh, WrestleMania 98, and then we thought about it, and we just said, screw it, Ghostbusters yeah. instead. Finally got to see it, so. Yeah. Um, so let's start it off. Who's who's your who's your show breaker? Or uh, show, uh, who's uh, your show stealer for this one? Who's your, oh, uh, yeah. Um okay so the little girl egon's granddaughter is really good but i think i'm gonna go with the mom i really liked her character um like i was when i was watching the movie i was like okay who's the villain in this movie gozer it comes at the end spoilers if you haven't watched ghostbusters yet freaking you know but i saw it you should have seen it by now yeah uh Gozer comes at the end, so it's not really the villain. The mom is kind of the villain in the law neutral uh, kind of sense, where she doesn't realize she's the villain, but like, you know, like the little girl uh, is like, why, why didn't you tell me that my grandfather was Egon Spangler, this great scientist? Uh, and it mom's like because i got fucking issues with him that's why i I didn't bring you around your grandparents or something you know uh obviously she didn't say it that way but i just kind of like that mom character she's just not a deadbeat but just kind of down on her luck and kind of just kind of making things go the way they're you got food on the fucking table don't quit complaining kid yeah, I think that that is that character is very relatable. Yeah, especially with some sort of like issue with you know her parents, and you know she's got some sort of like relationship issue there. Yeah, so like that's relatable. She's down on her luck. Everybody's been there. Like the character is very relatable, and yeah. the actress did a good job. Um, but yeah, I, I I can't argue that she's not. She's not in my show, Steelers. Okay. But, uh, she she was a good character. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's little is little Egon Spangler. Yeah, his granddaughter. That little girl, dude. I like cry laughing at the way she delivers lines. Like she delivers them like a professional. It yeah. is insane to see such a little human deliver such deadpan hilarious shit and not even crack like mm. it, it's almost like she's so young she doesn't get the humor and that's why it works like she doesn't know like there's no part of her that was like "Ooh, i think it'd be funnier if i said it like this she doesn't understand the humor so she's just delivering deadpan line and that's what's making it hilarious yeah even her jokes the bad yeah. jokes those oh, are great those yeah. are just like they're they're funny they're they're entertaining to watch uh oh. especially this person but yeah uh so, yeah. so I, her and of course paul rudd because he's paul the rudd. Pleasure. <laughs> um yeah paul rudd does a really great job I'm, I'm, at being like come out and say if you don't like paul rudd fuck you yeah like straight up i don't care unsubscribe if you don't like paul rudd you're 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 a horrible person (laughs) oh man no paul rudd's great in it um uh ghostbusters afterlife yeah what was your show breaker jerry uh i got two um my first one is the product placement and the fucking clean the cleanest walmart ever Mm -hmm. Like I, I was sitting there like, no fucking way. There'd be someone sleeping on a shelf, 
there would be shit all over the place. And there's like in Walmart, there's all these like perfect, perfect Baskin Robbins fucking mm. uh, things. And I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. that late at night. I don't, I don't care. Pre pandemic, post pandemic, there'd be shit all over. I, I've seen Walmart uh, in the middle of the night when nobody's there. Oh, like, yeah. you fucking kidding me? There are people that live in Walmart. Um, a new Walmart, though. Doesn't, oh, there'd be twice as many fucking people. You know that. Well, no, I'm saying, like, the cleanliness and, like, the niceness. Like, the light bulbs aren't blown out yet. The fucking... There's not cigarette butts all over the floor. <laughs> like, it's new, so it hasn't yeah. had a chance to get shitty yet. It's like when they open up a new Dollar General. And it's nice for like two weeks and then it turns into a shit show. Like when they went into the Walmart, I was like, that's the worst place to shoot. I have tried to walk around Walmart and there's not even enough room for two carts to go down an aisle, let alone like these oh, giant open spaces to see Paul Rudd. We should have seen Paul Rudd in between like the shelves, yeah. like, trying to like find his way out and like dodging those fucking pallets of, I don't know, industrial size pork rinds and <laughs> fucking... <laughs> and, and like a lady in a cart because she's too fat to walk yelling about don't tread on me and yeah. in the fucking ice cream aisle because yeah you can't get up and reach the fucking ice cream random <laughs> camouflage everywhere yeah. you know but uh you need camouflage toilet paper yeah <laughs> how about camouflage straws for your summer drinks yeah um you know uh but uh, more more on the product placement of walmart less of the walmart itself it kind of just felt tacky uh look also the days of old though i mean look oh, at yeah. wayne's world look at any movie it was like pizza hut bam like they didn't fucking they didn't hide that shit in like, wayne's world they're literally making fun of product placements yeah, they're yeah. not i like, know but but in doing so they product placed 40 items that yeah. i'm sure they got paid for they just did it in a cynical way yeah. so i mean if wayne's world was made today instead of stan makita's it would be a duncan or a starbucks you know and it would be like no 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 we need stan makita's you know and i fucking love that place um but uh i'm gonna go with that and also i like there's a couple of sentimental moments in the movie that are good, mm -hmm. but then there's a couple that feel kind of like, like forced. Mm -hmm. And the one that I'm, I'm going to bring up is Egon's granddaughter has already gone down into Egon's little, like the pole latrine, you know? Uh, but they've gone down there and she's seen it. And we've established that Egon communicates by the light right yeah i was like okay cool but when the daughter went down and the light is kind of like showing her the pictures and stuff i was like i wish the light wasn't there i wish it would have just been her kind of being like looking for the daughter you know looking for egon's granddaughter <laughs> god we got to learn her name um but looking for her kind of just stumbling on and just stumbling into this place without like, you know, the light kind of like, you know, but just realizing her realizing, oh, Egon did care, you know, but yeah. without like spooky, spooky ghosts. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I think I, I, I get what you're saying and that would have probably worked well for her and maybe Egon could have shown his daughter like the woman he could have shown her that because they do it twice yeah they like the the granddaughter finds it the same way the daughter finds it yeah. so you see the same scene twice basically basically yeah but like if if little mini spangler like stumbled across it and he showed the mom later or something then I think that would have probably been that would have worked better. Yeah, like do it once. It makes sense for the granddaughter because then she has to start building the proton pack. 
and because she's an electrical genius and like she knows what I'm look what she's looking at. Mm-hmm. But when the daughter went down there, I think it should have been just like a solitary moment of her just like go looking through this and realizing, you know, like, oh, okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. Without like the the silly light, you know. Is it the light? No, it's I understand what it is. Because when I was watching it, I originally I was like, is no one going to freak out that there's a ghost? Like, and then I realized, oh, yeah, they're, they're fucking they're Spanglers. They know fucking ghosts exist. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, it's OK. Well, um, the mom does. The daughter and son don't. Until later. Yeah. yeah. Um, that, and then like not to nitpick, but I felt like the 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 older son he didn't have much to do yeah they just Um, needed somebody to drive that wagon yeah they needed someone to drive the wagon and i mean it's not bad it's not off-putting but i wish they would have given him just something 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 else yeah something give him something to eat like yeah 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 Yeah, give him something to fucking eat (laughs) yeah i I completely agree with you yeah Uh, they just get to give him more but I, I get it. Like he's not the scientist one, so like he doesn't have that, you know, yeah. that drive. So like he's not the point of the story. But he still loves his sister, so he's gonna help his sister. You know, yeah. I get, yeah. that's cool. I get it. Um, so my only breaker was the thing. All right. So the only thing that really bugged me was uh, that new Slimer, um, the Muncher. Yeah, the Muncher. Like that was supposed to be Slimer. Nah, it was Muncher. It was completely different. He had four, he had six arms. Right. He was but, blue. That was, but that was supposed to be Slimer. Of course. That was, that was Slimer's role. They gave to another CGI uh ghost. So that that annoyed me. Yeah. Because well, even, like when I was watching it, I was like, oh, he's eating everything. That's odd that he's eating shit that he's not supposed to. Because like you know, Slimer didn't eat metal and pipes and shit, no. but he ate everything. So I was like, oh, he must be starving out here, basically on the farm. Like I think, uh, like in my head, I thought Slimer went with Egon there, no. and, like was living in that like a- town area, and he was just starving. And he and then they were like, oh, it's Muncher, and I was like, the fuck, the fuck, what's a Muncher? Yeah, yeah, that that's. Yeah, but that was my only thing, and I didn't even hate it. It was just I didn't like that ghost. I didn't like his aesthetic. I didn't, you know, it was funny yeah. that he ate everything, but that was it. I think they could have designed it a little. I think the design looks a lot like Slimer, mm-hmm. and the idea, even though Slimer ate food, right, and this muncher eats inanimate objects or mostly metal, right. um, so you know, it's too similar. Yeah. you know yeah. um but yeah i, I can see it them the same way too no. even down to the way they come across them they're like checking out some some noise that somebody heard yeah. like granted in ghostbusters it's the hotel manager says there's something going on in here this time they stumble across the what's happening on their own but it's the exact same setup yeah. Like I'm sure at one point that was Slimer or the idea was for Slimer in the studio or somebody was like, no, nah, let's change it up. Let's freshen things up. I got the exact same character, but we're going to color him blue and add an arm to him and he's going to eat random shit. Yeah. Like, that's all. Yeah, I can definitely see it. It's like, uh, let me copy your homework, but I won't make it exactly the same. Right. I'll, I'll reword a couple of things, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which yeah the 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 actual creature you know the idea behind the creature is kind of lazy but the actual creature looked good um i thought it looked you know it it was great i'm glad it wasn't just slimer though like oh it's slimer you know Uh, i think if it was it would have been like "Mm -mm, you copied your homework you know um but I thought his twist at the end was really good when they're in the jail cell and they can't get the proton pack. Uh, did you watch them? <laughs> they had they let the the muncher go because they couldn't get inside the jail cell, the, the lockup. 
oh, oh, where oh, he let him go so he ate the door and... so he ate the metal on the door and i was like okay it goes it, it's a circle great that that worked you know that 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 idea worked you know so um but yeah no i had i had no problems um you want to move the what's the soundtrack uh, the soundtrack i don't i don't remember much of a soundtrack they, um, i know we, you know the ghostbusters theme was in it yeah um but i don't remember a ton of soundtrack i could just be completely blanking on that but that that wasn't one of the big things to me so i don't have anything to say on it. true uh i did enjoy the fact that they reuse like those classic sounds that we heard the you know bum 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 that that kind of like noise and the kind of sound that they used in the original ghostbusters you know they basically just hit all the notes of ghostbusters and then yeah you know ghostbusters the soundtrack was great um cinematography i say okay yeah i I enjoyed it Um, did you a lot of the shots where the conversation is happening is very uh you know plain straight shot but a lot of the action sequences were shot like an action movie yeah made it feel more Mm action-packed like the swinging camera angles behind cars and all that stuff it it looked really fun it it yeah made the movie fun so i think that the camera work is actually pretty good in this one yeah especially with the uh the car chase uh of the muncher and stuff um and i will say i enjoy that her character when she gets overstimulated is when she can focus the most Mm -hmm. and the like like yeah ice in the veins man yeah she just she's there especially when they have her mom in the car yeah uh and mom's like what's going on after she just got unzooled yeah and she's like what's going on and she's sitting there talking to her and then she's like oh hold on one minute and she flips (laughs) the switch and goes out there to shoot and i thought the camera angle worked nice yeah where it was just a, a shot of the mother yeah. And when she did that, they just tilted a little bit and you saw Proton Blast out the door uh, uh, shooting the dog, the Demi Dogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought that was like really cool. Yeah. Uh, I was like, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought cinematography was fine. Uh, it didn't look muddy. Uh, a lot of the times when you have those, a lot of CGI, uh, it kind of gets that muddy look. Um, but I thought it was fine. Um, it even like uh, I had a I had a very special moment. Uh, watch this with Lydia because uh, mm-hmm. she likes the Ghostbusters. Watch it with Lydia, and Lydia looked at me and, was, and she she was like, "The dogs in the first one look better." And I was like, "Yeah, because they were practical." Mm-hmm. And she's like, "Yeah, practical is just they look better." When it, I'm like, "I know, I know," <laughs> even though the dogs, the demi dogs in this because There's they're hope. cgi they can do a little bit more instead of just kind of lay there right. <laughs> but there's still hope for this generation that's still yeah. yeah but yeah. she's like um but uh i will say the the funniest thing in this movie i think more so than the jokes and everything uh the random cameo by uh oh, damn it what's his name from whiplash and um he played evo shandor uh damn it you know who i'm talking about right i can't off the top of my head what character was he in the he was evo shandor he was the guy in the uh oh 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 juno's dad yeah juno's dad yeah yeah yeah. what's his name oh i couldn't tell you <laughs> the state farm guy or whatever the insurance guy yeah i know there's people on the internet right now it's jk simmons so jk simmons literally in the movie to sleep in a car- sarcophagus and then like he wakes up he says one line and then he's dead yeah and then like uh tara didn't know that that was uh olivia wilde oh really 
Yeah, she. I was like, of course it is. Look at her. Yeah, you can tell that. Awesome. Yeah, look at the awesome. bones, the bone yeah. structures. You yeah. know, do you not see a goddess on screen? Like, yeah. Yeah, that's a little <laughs> wild. How can you tell, Jerry? They're CGIing her eyes, and it's Olivia Wilde. That's it's just that bone structure. I know that bone structure. You stare I'm at it long bone enough. Bone structure in my fucking <laughs> pants watching this. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, it's, uh, that, it's right. just that. Yeah, man. Um, but small cameos, like you said, yeah. real small, real yeah. nice to like. Oh, cool. Um, another cameo we get. Uh, all the Ghostbusters, yeah. all the living ones, uh, <laughs> uh, come back uh, as Ghostbusters this time instead yes. of like side characters, like in uh, Ghostbusters Answer the Call. <laughs> um, I thought Ray did a great job, uh, especially with Ray's occult. I like that whole thing. Yeah, that um, made sense to me, actually. That was really good. Yeah. Um, uh, Ernie Hudson, I like the fact that like he's a billionaire now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and like there's the call of the Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um and then like I like Bill Murray. I thought Bill Murray did a great job. He did really good at like uh keeping that like he could get into that Vakeman character again. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think my favorite scene with him is the after credit scene. Did you stay for the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. with him and Sigourney Weaver? Yeah, I thought that was great. I was like, oh, cool. Um, especially with the the play on it, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, I thought it was cool. You know, it's like, oh, uh, <laughs> um, but but yeah. Uh, what did you think of uh, the originals? It wasn't like the, the like. Okay, did you enjoy them, or was it like, oh, look, someone opened the the old folks' home? Like the old no, dude, I was home. getting ready to fucking cry. Like oh, yeah. at the end of this movie, I was like, I was like tearing up. I was like, oh my god, they CGI fucking Sam Raimi or <laughs> Sam yeah. Raimi, Harold Ramis. And uh, you know, they got all the guys back together. I told you, like, we talked about this a little bit previously. Um, I told you when I watched it, and they're all like looking over at him, like I was just like <laughs> <laughs> And you know, my daughter goes, This movie's stupid and like walks out. <laughs> and that's like, the best story ever. Just like, I don't I don't take sentimental moments, dad. I'm out of here. <laughs> like, what? Um, yeah, I know when we were taught when we saw the trailer, and I was like, I'm gonna be fucking pissed if it's CGI Egon Spangler. And yeah. but I thought it actually worked better, yeah. you know. Right. Like what I was they didn't do a lot with him. That was, no. I think that, that was a key thing in this is they didn't try to use him the entire movie. Yeah. Like as like his daughter or his granddaughter can see him. And, you know, like the, it was just quick little, we love you. We're putting you in the movie. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. And it made it okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, now let's talk about a tricky part. Um, do you feel that, too much of do you remember this syndrome was just too much you know no um like the entire the entire scene where wolf is working on the The wagon and he gets it fired up and he starts driving it i loved it yeah again it's that same thing with vice grip i love working on old cars and fixing them up so watching him do it, I, even though it's just little cut scenes of him turning a wrench or whatever, like it's still, that's how you do nostalgia. Yeah. Like here's this dead thing. I'm going to bring it back to life. And it was so important in the first one. So like that type of stuff, I didn't, I didn't hate that at all. Okay. And it wasn't like it was set in, you know, the nineties or anything like it's set in today's time. So you know it it there wasn't there wasn't enough throwback like everything was done tastefully like the wagon the stay puff marshmallow guys like it was all just like it was it was laid out it was mapped out properly but mm-hmm. they didn't throw it in your face yeah like well i'm talking about like 
you know, she finds a crunch bar in his pocket. And remember, remember when Egon, you know, Bill Murray gave Egon the crunch bar, mm-hmm. um, you know, the, the marshmallows there, stay puffs, mm-hmm. um, you know, they're, they're like the pole. He puts up, you know, the pole in the outhouse. Like, do the you most feel efficient way to transfer from an upper stage to a bottom stage? And we all know that. That was just simple efficiency. Okay. And it's it's just cool. (laughs) It's just cool. I will say the one. Nobody's on the other side of this argument. (laughs) Everybody loves poles to slide down. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) oh man. Um, I will say the only thing that I kind of like was, uh was when all the kids went down there to get ghostbusters co- uh costumes they Ghost- all fit. and well the the outfits and they all fit yeah, yeah. i was just like did egon yeah. just have like a bunch of like well the, i better just keep this here and just in case or <laughs> got one in every size because he didn't know when it was going to happen yeah the one like, girl yeah, just knows how to it. sew I got three T to fucking five XL. We didn't know when this was going down. So, but then again, I guess it's better than that. than like podcast, the one little kid and stuff walking around and the arms are flapping and like (laughs) the legs are dragging behind them and shit. Like, yeah, this is great. Um, I like that kid too. Um, I thought he, he, yeah, I wish that with podcast Egon's granddaughter, I wish there was a third kid because it would have kind of like, Okay, there's our our Ray, our Egon, and our our Spangler. Well, you I know? think that that was what the brother was supposed to kind of provide because yeah. he pretty much joins the interaction as soon as they figure out what's going on. You oh know? yeah, I think that those four represented them well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, but because you got like Venkman would actually personality wise would be the girl. Because she's just laid back and kind of like, hey, whatever, I'm cool. Yeah, shit. she was and sarcastic. Then, uh, yeah, and then her Ernie, you got like that would probably be like Wolf or something. Yeah, and then uh, you know you got podcast that believes in everything. And, That's right. Yep. Yeah, and That's your got, Dan Aykroyd. He's got the connection because he's the one subscriber to his channel. Yeah, so. like a really good silly movie, but I I can put this. I can put this as the next Ghostbusters instead of answer the call. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, not anything. I just, I did not like answer the call. It was kind of just like, it kind of was just like, pay no attention to this Ghostbusters. And this one was just like, no, 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 this is the Ghostbusters. Yeah. And they just brought it all out. So, yeah. um, all right. They, let, they oh. did this movie extremely well, like yeah. all the way through. I think that, they did a good job of mixing the comedy, obviously. Yeah. Um, Cause even podcast has funny things like funny line deliveries. Paul Rudd is hilarious and dreamy throughout the entire movie. <laughs> uh, so like, I mean, you know, the whole movie was just done well, nothing yeah. was overdone and yeah. it was just, it was perfect. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah. It was like, a, you know, it, it, it felt like a good like it felt like a good like stamp for the fans where you can get the new kids in with new like ideas of what this ghostbusters is but you can also the the older kids you know can go okay i i enjoyed this for so many reasons you know uh i think if they do another one like thank you bill thank you dan thank you uh ernie um you can set this one out we got this you know yeah. uh especially about like a crew that are gonna start becoming the ghostbusters you know they're gonna be the new ones i think there's two important things to look at at this movie it, when when you mentioned like getting the new kids in like there's nobody that doesn't know ghostbusters whether they've seen it or not everybody knows that symbol everybody knows that sound yeah um so when they bring something out that's so well known that's like culturally a huge thing Mm -hmm. you're going to get people to go see it because they're going to go well the all these go i've always heard about ghostbusters and i never saw this one but this one's new so i'm going to go watch this one yeah and then they go watch the old ones and then they have the full story and it's awesome and then if they're not stupid they enjoy it yeah so like 
that that's a big part of this one and then also you know just the love that was put into this one yeah Yeah. better than that third i never saw the third one the technical third one the yeah answer the call i never saw it because i knew it wasn't for me like too much was different and i saw too much like bad cgi in the trailers and i was like it and like all the actresses are great they're all funny in their own rights but i Mm. just i didn't think that like i was going to enjoy it so i just stayed away from it but as soon as i saw this one i was like i am fully 100 percent on board yeah that's I, yeah I that's knew, where i want to go i knew that this one like i think even in the other video when we discussed the trailer when it dropped like i think i was like i am sure that this is going to be good yeah like i am fully on i'm ready for it i was fearful but uh yeah, yeah. i'm i'm definitely i'm glad so it definitely strokes your nostalgia boner just right for everybody to say okay this is ghostbusters and so when we come out with a new ghostbusters with this new crowd with this new group you know this get the let them let them age a little bit you know so they can drive cars and you know move to new york because they definitely set that up with ernie like going back to the firehouse at the end yeah and bringing the car in and where he is going to start making a new franchise Mm -hmm. you know and that was always the idea of the ghostbusters i mean bill murray said that in the first movie the franchise will make us rich beyond our dreams you know yeah and yeah like a squad of ghostbusters you know and i think that'll be pretty cool that would be cool if they did it in like such a way as like it's like a firehouse there's like like a legit firehouse there's like 70 ghostbusters and there's just like pair off or four of them go or whatever whatever is required for the one Mm -hmm. mission. that would be a lot of fun you could make a million movies out of it and you could always like be rotating actors and scenes and sets like that's a really good idea yeah instead of like the old station wagon they get like those like fbi no, black no, vans. no that's cool <laughs> yeah you don't need no you don't need to do that yeah just they with like the red sticker one yeah they all drive that one wagon and they drop each other off as they're like going to their ghost haunting yeah exactly so i i think that idea will definitely come but yeah i mean like also like halloween uh i believe the force awakens the new ghost uh the, the new ghost the, the, the new star wars stuff right that came out you know uh i think that's where we're at where yeah we need to get the new kids interested mm-hmm. you know in these franchises so they can you know this is no longer my franchise this is their franchise you know for them to kind of grow up and be like oh yeah i really enjoyed that movie uh definitely cool I, part two you know <laughs> yeah well technically you know and then like guys like us going well technically it's actually part six so it's like shut up old people they're all sequels jerry yeah right uh <laughs> but um <laughs> <laughs> they're all simple. They're, yeah. <laughs> yes they are jacob thank you. <laughs> thank you um so what would you what would you start where would you go was the star shit star oh, in the movie doing the uh ticket price thing Oh fuck! Yeah, that's right. All right. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it just your own ideas that you came up with and implemented this, in the show. This movie came out this year. Did you go and see it in the theater? I wanted to. Oh, okay. Well, I made efforts <laughs> to, but my life was busy. So, all right. So, I wish do you I feel did. bad. Yeah. Okay. That that was going to be my next response. Was do you wish you had seen this in the theater? Absolutely. I would. <laughs> yeah. Have, I would have seen this like two 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 three times in the theaters yeah like I, i'm not a big fan of the theaters but looking back i was like damn i wish i did go see this one in the theaters um I, I even asked you if you wanted to go see it i think this is one i know i asked you about candy man but i think i asked you about this one too yeah and i think you told me like nah i'm just gonna wait I was like, yeah. Right. yeah um all right what would you start 
so this one's a tough one for me because I like it so much. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. Nice. I think that it, uh, yeah, I just love it. I've already seen it three times. Yeah. Uh, So I, I like it a lot. So three, yeah, four and a half stars. I'm gonna give it a solid four. Okay. Um, Fair. no reason why not giving it a half. Uh, just to be difficult, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a four. Um, there are some things that, like I said, I wish, you know, there was, you know, the the Flynn Wolfheart kid. I wish they'd give him a little bit more, and I wish there was, you know, a little bit more here, a little less there. So. I'm gonna go four. I mean, it, it's not a bad movie. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll keep watching it. If I could find a box set with the original Ghostbusters and this, I'd yeah. probably get it at Walmart. Yeah. So, I, uh, I, I think I went out to get it and I didn't end up getting it. Um, I think I ended up getting like Pig and uh, another Nicolas Cage movie instead. Hmm. But yeah, 